I didn't have my canvas back there. I, uh, I like it. Seeing yellows. I know one year I tried all year finding yellow in the sky and I couldn't. <laughs> Fire in the sky. The yellow and red together. Wow. Yeah. Like a front moving through? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Got all that water leading up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in, that? in Florida. It's, I like the wine red in the sky. Mm -hmm. And although it's in Florida, it reminds me of some of the Greek poems about the islands and out on the Mediterranean. Oh. But the fact that you have those sort of layers of color, that mm -hmm. used to be uh, quite the thing to do about a generation ago. And it's just a, some red in the water that make it a little more interesting. That's a panorama of two pictures, and it's over wetlands. Well, it makes it cosmetic with the panorama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes in the fall, we get some different colors. Oh, that's interesting. Look at the clouds kind of coming over the white, over the red. I like that being a, not being a landscape it really helps that one. It almost looks like a touch of northern lights. It does, yeah, it, it does. does. Aren't those supposed to be out tonight? Yeah. yeah. Do you more know what time? More like tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, um, good to know. You never know. Oh, so you sit up all night and wait for <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, that's what Linda said. They were outside late one night, came in all cold, and then they got sick. <laughs> oh, wow. What would make that big white spot, my eyes was going to that, if that could have been just taking out some of the brightness, I think it would have helped, but I like the way the white's coming through the trees and like blasting the trees out. Mm -hmm. And hitting the water too. Yeah, and hitting the water, it's nice. Sometimes. There's a lot of like, nice laziness in those silhouettes of the trees. Mm -hmm. I like that. Repeated up here in the front. Maybe it just cropped a little bit off the top. Of that would help, yeah. Yeah, that would take some of that whiteness out. Is that a flare? Yeah, yeah it's like a little cool. I like that. That's kind of cool to get that. Have you ever tried to get that? Those flares and polka type of stuff in a picture? I can't do it unless I don't want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did it accidentally one time. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't want it. Oh, no, that's I cool. wanted it, but after I got it. That's nice, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. Petoskey. I would like that if we took about a third of the sky out, scrunching it down so your eye would be more in the red and the red reflection on the water. Because that's what I like about this picture. Well, I like that. Those layers in there. Yeah, that's that's a little old-fashioned, but I still like that. If I were to crop it, which I don't think I would, I would take it off the water. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes a nice third. One of the right problems if you do too much cropping, and then you get this. It's more of a strip, yeah. which doesn't kind of fill the eye. It just the water looks all good. I don't like it. Just like it's more like a banner. What I, I like about it is the reflection on the water is what I like. Because it's got, you know, the boat and the pier out there. I have a hard time with those photos not getting blown out. With the sun peeking out there. Is there anything special? I don't think so. Sometimes I play with 
you know, like a lack of exposure by looking, you know, not directly at the sun, but, you know, somewhere else, and then, then we frame oh, okay. it mm -hmm. with the uh, other exposure. I find a lot of times just a little tip of the camera one way or the other way makes a big difference in these type of pictures and changing my white balance. Oh, oh that's cool. Wow. I like how the two edges kind of go all the way down. Mm -hmm. my eye into the color. I think toward the tree line over there, there was a, a narrow strip of white. And I think I worked on it with software. So I don't see any blown out in the sky right now. Mm -hmm. But I, I did have to work on it. And that can be hard because you get you can get so many colors, especially if you got a sun, to get all the colors and everything in. The sun always appears white. <laughs> I've gone in there and very carefully put a little yellow in the sun at times just to get rid of some of the whiteness. But even the even the snow, I like the color of the snow. Now, if you were standing right there in front and walked, I don't know, a few paces to the left you'd be at our house. Library? No, that's the uh, White House in Sheboygan. Oh, okay. Because wow. I know the library downtown has some stairs that go up. I saw it once. Hmm. Very geometric. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like the geometry. It's something we don't do enough of, I think. I am liking more and more of the blurred backgrounds when you look at a flower. Yeah, look now, we won't be able to see those very much longer, will we? Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, we might get frost in the morning. That's what I heard. Oh my gosh. We had patchy frost at our house last night. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Look at that blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. She was cool. Is it a cub or? Yeah, it's a white tiger cub. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to play with it at the Memphis City. Mm. You actually got to touch it? I played with it. Oh. <laughs> I fed her and I uh, played with her. And was so allergic to it that I didn't care. <laughs> she was so cute. She is big though. I mean, she was, if she had wanted to take me down, she could have. Mm. But she was just real playful. Yeah, I captured that in the photo. Yeah. <laughs> her mother, they had to separate her from her mother because her mother was getting abusive. Mm -hmm. And she was mad. <laughs> she hissed at anyone and everyone that came around. I did that at the um, Civil War Muster. I went in on Sunday, just did a quick walk, and there was a bunch of people taking pictures of this little boy. And he mostly had his back to me, but I got this one angle with him playing, and then I kind of made it look older, more vintage to it, and I applied some light leaks yeah, to make it look like a real old photo. Right. 
looks good. Nice composition. Mm -hmm. The, sh the curve of the child. Face bun? Okay. And it looks it looks like an old little wooden boat. <laughs> yeah, it does. Which I couldn't see it at the time, you know, but the boat was too far away. Look at the colors add like a playfulness to it. Mm hmm <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is sharp. Look at that mouth. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't look happy either. Wow, look at all the now lines in the eyes. Uh -huh. Is that yours, Andy? Yes. That's is that Alaska? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can even see up its nose. <laughs> What's the story behind that one? Um, <clears throat> well, I was in Haines, Alaska, and there's a bald eagle preserve there, so there's literally hundreds of bald eagles, Ooh. and they'll land within five, ten feet of you. Wow. wow. Um, and this one here, uh, what I thought was really interesting about it is, is he's got the, um, the reticulated membrane closed on his eyes. Okay. That's why they look oh, like they do. If you, if you could see it a little closer, you can see the veins mm -hmm. in the eyeball. Oh, wow. That's, oh, wow. that's that membrane over his eyes. So his eyes are normally very clear and yellow, but they close that every now and then to clean their eyes off. It's like a windshield wiper of sorts. It helps protect their eyes. Interesting. Wow. Wow. That is a great picture. You know, I've seen pictures of eagles before, but never one like this with the mouth, mouth open. Yeah, and if you like eagle photos, I have probably about nine to ten thousand. Oh, oh my God. okay. I don't even have nine or ten eagle photos. Oh I told my husband we were on the highway once. I said, "Oh, let's get over there. There's an eagle." <laughs> you know, there's no way to get over there. Anytime, anytime I bring a my choice in, I, I can I can I can put one of those up. Like they're on the airplane. So. That's, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. If we do a photo hanging in May, we'll get Linda on it. You've got to do this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have that one printed, but um, I've got some good ones. I've got some good ones. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That probably will end up being a happy fall card or something because that's why there's room up at the top for yeah. some lettering. I've done that with stuff before on the top to say happy Thanksgiving or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did you have to mess with the lighting so it won't have big white reflections on the glass? Uh, a little bit, but it did better than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. I have a room in the our lower level that you can make pretty dark and just use the artificial lights. And there's a candle inside, but you can't see it. So that's why it's kind of lit from inside. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's really very interesting on the glass. What I liked best was the color. So. Mm -hmm. it's fitting. <laughs> That's no picture rocks. Hey, I was wondering. Yeah. yeah. I think I need to work on the rocks a little bit. I need to get a lot more color mm -hmm. on the rocks. I could probably take a little bit off the bottom there, too. When that guy in the kayak, he can go home, but. Since he has the white contacts, the colors in the picture stand out better than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I like the water on it, but you're right, it's about the rocks and the boat, but I love the color of the water. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could take off some. 
put my eye up and then he could focus more on the main topic. That's nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm jealous. I've never seen that. <laughs> Was that a long exposure? Probably in fact on both ends. I think it was two nights ago. Hmm. Really? Not like 1 a.m. Yeah, somebody I work with said we got an alert at 4 o'clock in the morning that it was at maximum. Oh. I'm glad I don't have my, that alert set up on my phone. Oh, yeah. I checked the right before I went to bed, and it said, get out there now. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Which direction are, are you facing with that? Uh, pretty much north, a little northwest. Okay. Well, I had a bunch of big trees, like, blocking for the bottom one. Yeah. We have trees blocking everything. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I could go outside and walk down the road, but I don't think so. Yeah. I can go out back and look up and see some. I'm afraid to go out back at night. There's too many animals out there. <laughs> I mean, I've had deer come up on me like, whoa, what you look at me? It's like, okay, I'm out of here. At yeah, the one o'clock with your naked eye, you could see like big pink patches, and you could see a couple like white lines. But you had to edit it to get back the colors. Uh, you did a good job. Yeah, very good. Did a good job. Yeah, I wasn't sure how many other people would have a lot of pictures. So I, I didn't love know if I should bring it. I love all the stars coming through. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was that's it that's. a really wide lens, which is another thing that probably would have been nice. Who was at last last meeting? Someone said that they showed someone a picture and it had all the stars like that. And the person lived in the city and asked, "What's all those white dots?" I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can't remember what it was either. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Nice background on it too. Yours? Very sharp. I was over at your house. <laughs> yeah. I didn't find much. I liked it. I do. <laughs> Yeah, I had a look. You almost looked to see them. They blend in so well. Uh -huh. Try to count noses. What is the stuff in the water with them? Kelp, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that, is that one on the left, like, very nice? There were so many of them that was just like a group, but there were over 30 of them at the time. They just kind of float around the kelp. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that out west? It was in Alaska, Sitka. Okay. Yeah. Where was it? Sitka, Alaska. Oh. Kind of cool how the seaweed is got diagonal lines around. Mm -hmm. Wow. What picture is that? I wanted to see that in black and white to see how it would come out. It's funny. And what I had to do is on a couple spots I had to go in on the mountains and just darken them a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit more oomph, but I like it better on there. It's washed out, but not think? Yeah. Yeah, it's really washed out. It's kind of like, wait a minute. 
but um, I'm trying to think. It was a certain brush that I found, and they said to use it to kind of darken the little spots that didn't quite show up dark enough. And I did it mostly on the right. But like, like in right there, I just kind of went very lightly over just to give it a little bit more depth in it. Hmm. And those areas, oh, what kind of first did they call up? I can't think right now. Are you up high and there's like a little valley in between? Or is that all the same? That level? was out west, uh, Grand Tetons. It almost looks metallic. Yeah, it's metallic. The clouds were cooperating that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything walking out there, so I'm not sure how marshy it was. Mm -hmm. It was like a big building, restaurant behind us. Shade of the, the tree trunks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of makes you want to go there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a pretty amazing place. Oh, I bet. I was probably like four when I was there. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. It's going with the Alaska thing that we seem to be doing here. <laughs> yeah. We still love the whales, but we didn't see them break. Oh, this one probably okay. did it about a dozen times. Wow. Like there were actually two of them. Ooh, a mom and a juvenile. Yeah, this is the picture everybody wants. Mm -hmm. right. You yeah. got that right. With all the splashing going around and seeing all the water flow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get there too. <laughs> oh. oh, what kind of birds are those? The um, tall one is the heron, and the one on the right is the uh, 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 henga, with its neck all twisted back because it's cleaning its feathers. Oh. And I kind of like the contrast of the two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially the twisting his neck around, that's very interesting. The one on the left, the great blue heron? Right. It looks like? Yes. The hen goes on the yeah. right. If Roy was here, he'd probably be giving us a big story about the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Monarchs that were at our house this year were much smaller. I noticed that year. too. I saw a couple, like maybe two or three littler ones. And like, is that a different? <laughs> and I let my front flower bed grow up in milkweed, just for them. <laughs> huh. Anyway, huh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we I've never the seen it. Works good too. Mm -hmm. That looks like a nice one to print out too. It's kind
kind of bothers me that it's vertical, but that's how it really is. It came out of that chrysalis. chrysalis. Uh -huh. it, it always makes me want to twist it so I can see it better. <laughs> That wouldn't be right. No, no, I, I, I'm with you on that. It, it's a strange position, but you want to show it the right way. I don't think Dan fell off and it looks right to me. Yeah, I don't think the background, the background with the vertical lines, it all just flows in the right, in the same direction. Mm hmm. Good yeah, the background's perfect for that. It's just of the white dots and the lines and wow. Mm -hmm. The lines on that. I have been trying to find fungi all summer oh. and I found it like twice. And when I went out the second time to take pictures, the mowing company was there and mowed them all down. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I was just in my front yard right by the driveway and I was like, mm. oh, I'm gonna go take a picture of you. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought the day before it like that. it was flat, and then it was like that the next day. Something. That's really interesting. I love yeah, all those lines. The ones that come from my yard never, never look like this. Mm -hmm. And then I mow them all up. Mm -hmm. huh. We keep waiting for morels. <laughs> I don't care how they look, I just eat them. <laughs> 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 that is nice, Laura. That is very nice. And when you zoom in and crop it up a little bit, it even look better. I'm glad we got it. Me too. Yeah, that makes sense. And that little bit of leaf had a little color. <laughs> mm -hmm. See the water drops on the grass. That's been kind of early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's chilly too. <laughs>